This is the exact SQL interview question asked at Infosys Digital for a data analyst role. Let's break it down. So the question is, you are given a table named employees with the following columns. Department ID, employee underscore name and salary. Your task, write an SQL query to fetch the name of the employee who is earning the highest salary in each department. Conditions, you can assume there are no duplicate salaries within a department. You must ignore any duplicates. If they exist, return only one employee per department. Do not use any joins. Do not use any subqueries. Timer is running. 20 minutes left. Although the question specifies that we must ignore duplicates and show only one employee per department. In this video, we will cover both approaches. First, when there are duplicates. Second, when there are no duplicates. We will begin with the first scenario when duplicates exist and we need to show the names of all employees earning the highest salary in each department. Create the table. First, we need to create the table. Let's quickly do that. It's a simple table with four columns. Next, we need to insert some data into it. This time, I'll make sure to include some duplicates. On analyzing the data, we can see that two people in department 10 and 30 are earning the same highest salary, which clearly indicates the presence of duplicates. You can download the entire SQL script from the description and the pinned comment. Let's begin with the SQL interview question. We were asked to fetch the highest salary in each department. This is very straightforward. We just need to use the max aggregate function like this. Since we need the highest salary from each department, we use group by on the department underscore ID column. As a result, this query returns the highest salary for each department. This approach is simple, but only when we do not need to fetch the names of the employees earning these highest salaries. Find the employee name. Now let's take it a step further and try to find the names of all the employees earning the highest salary in each department. Since there are duplicates as we have seen, we will account for those as well. So what will be the approach? We will use an inner join. But in this case, we want to join two separate tables. Instead, we will join the employees table with a subquery. Now, you might ask, what will that subquery be? It's the same query we just wrote to find the maximum salary for each department. We will use that as our subquery. Let's get started. Shall we? What do we need in our output? We need employees name their department IDs and their salary. That should be enough. All this information will come from the employees table. To keep things clear, we will use the alias E and apply it to all the column references. Now, we will introduce a join clause, which will be an inner join. Using this, we will join the employees table with a subquery. To do that, after the join keyword, add a pair of parentheses and paste the query we wrote earlier. Also, give this subquery a name. I'll call it max underscore DEPT. Next, we need to define the join condition. This is where we specify the common column through which the employees table and the max underscore DEPT subquery will be joined. As you know, we use the on keyword for this. This on clause specifies how the rows from both sources, table and subquery should be matched. In this case, the condition ensures that each employee is compared only with the maximum salary of their own department, not with max salary from other departments. This avoids cross department mismatches and keep the join accurate and meaningful. However, if we execute the query now, it will still fetch all employees from each department because the on clause only matches employees based on their department ID.
but this query would not filter employees based on their salary. So every employee in the department, not just the top earners, would be returned, including those who don't earn the maximum salary. This happens because the on clause matches employees with the subquery result based on department ID. No filter is applied on the salary column in the on clause itself. To make sure we only get the details of employees who are earning the highest salary in their respective department, we need to add an AND clause. This will match the salary of employees with the maximum salary of that department from the subquery. This AND condition ensures that only those employees earning the maximum salary in each department are selected. Let's execute the query and look at the result. This will include all the employees even if there are duplicates. Now let's move on to the next approach where the SQL interview question asks us to ignore the duplicates and avoid using joins or subqueries. How would we approach that? This is where window functions come to the rescue. We will use the max aggregate function but this time with the keep clause. Speaking of window functions, if you are someone who wants to dive deeper and truly master SQL window functions, then I have got just the thing for you. My book, Mastering SQL Window Functions, is now available at a special discounted price for a limited time. Make the most of it while the offer lasts. Grab your copy today. The link is in the description and the pinned comment below. Now that we have got that covered, let's get back to the topic. Let's copy the query we wrote earlier. Done. Now, while this query returns each department ID along with its highest salary, it does not return the name of the employee who is earning that highest salary. To retrieve the employee name, we will again use the max aggregate function, but with a twist, the keep clause, like this. Now this might look a bit odd at first. We are using the max function on a text column. Normally, that wouldn't make much sense, right? But here's the magic. Because of the keep clause, this actually helps us retain the name of the employee who's earning the highest salary in each department. Let's break this down. The keep clause is the hero here. It allows us to keep the row corresponding to the maximum value based on a specific ordering. Now, inside this clause, we use something interesting. Dense underscore rank. You might be thinking, isn't dense underscore rank an analytical function? And yes, it usually is. But in this case, we are not calling it directly. The keep clause internally applies the logic similar to dense underscore rank. We are just using it to pick the first ranked value based on salary. After that, we write first. This tells Oracle, pick the row that ranks first when I order salaries in descending order. So let's order it. Simple enough. Let me explain it with an example. Let's say in department 10, both Ravi and Neha earn 70,000, the highest salary in the department. When we use dense rank, both Ravi and Neha get rank one tied at the top. Now, since we are using max function, Oracle will pick just one name alphabetically. That's what max does with a string. So even if multiple people earn the highest salary, only one name will be returned, the one that comes first alphabetically. And that's perfectly fine because you cannot return multiple names in a single column anyway. To summarize, des underscore rank first picks the top earners, max picks one name among the top based on alphabetical order. Let's execute the query and take a look at the result. You will see how elegant and clean this solution is. But before we wrap up, if you want to go deeper into these kinds of SQL tricks and window functions, I have something special for you. My book, Mastering SQL Window Functions is on limited time discount. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Grab your copy and level up your SQL game. That's it for today's session. As you can see, this seemingly simple interview question actually had quite a few layers. 
If you found this useful and want more such interview style SQL questions, just comment below and let me know. I would love to bring more for you. Thanks for watching. This is Manish signing off from rebellionrider.com. Take care and keep learning.